I was just about to come find you. I have contact with Braytac on Takara. He has dispatched a mothership to the location provided us by the other Colonel Carter. If the Ori attempt to establish a second beachhead there, then the Fa should give us a heads up. Presuming, of course, that events play out the same way in both universes. To this point, the particulars of the varying universes have remained remarkably similar. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Another SG-1 came through 20 minutes ago, which puts the count at 12 teams, not including yourselves. Well, at least we're in good company. Well, this last team is a little different in terms of personnel. How so? Well, there's someone I thought you might like to talk to. Daniel? Teal where's General O'Neill? I'm sure you all have a lot to catch up on. Janet. Dr. Fraser. What's going on here? Uh, Janet, this, this, this may look like home to you, but it's not. This is not the Stargate Command you left. We're not the Daniel and Tilk you know. You and your team gated to a parallel reality. This is an alternate SGC on an alternate Earth in an alternate universe. In our reality, Dr. Janet Fraser died two years ago. I remember the mission to P3X. I was tending to a wounded airman. We came under fire. You were there. You, you helped me stabilize him and got us out of there. No, I didn't. You were hit by an errant staff blast and, and killed instantly. You were honored with a hero's funeral. Lucky me. Hopefully you will be able to return to your world soon. Hopefully? Yeah, for the moment it looks like your, your trip here was only one way. No, no, you have to find a way to get us back as soon as possible. Yes, Sam and Dr. Lee are working on something. No, you don't understand. We've been targeted by the Ori. Earth is being ravaged by a plague. Hundreds of thousands have been infected. If we don't find a cure, the entire planet will be wiped out. General, sorry to disturb you. I was wondering if I could have a word. Of course, Doctor. Come in. Thank you. Sir, I would like to make a request on behalf of all of the teams stranded in this reality. Please. Postpone this mission until we can find a way to get home. I can't do that. We need our teams out there gathering intel on the Ori threat instead of sitting on their hands here waiting for normal gate operations to resume. And that won't be possible until this problem is dealt with. While I can empathize, sir, believe me, I think you need to take a look at the bigger picture. This goes beyond this world, beyond this galaxy, this universe. Hundreds of billions of lives are at stake. Their survival could hinge on not just our return, but the return of every SG-1 stranded on this base. Sir, back in my universe, Earth is facing a global pandemic, one that your planet has already faced and beaten. You have the cure that could save my world. All I have to do is get it to them. I can also empathize, but at the risk of sounding callous, my priorities are with this world. How can you prioritize the lives of one group over those of another? What makes my Earth any less important than your own? We have the top minds from 18 different universes working on a way to get you home. Now, hopefully, they can come up with a solution before this mission is completed. But if they can't, then I'm sorry, Doctor. 